For thousands of years, across many cultures, the swastika conveyed and still conveys only positive sentiments. To many people's surprise, the swastika can be found worldwide, also integrated in ancient buildings in Israel. It can also be found in some of the oldest churches on earth, in the rock church of Lalibela, Ethiopia. The Buddhists, Jains, and Hindus have used the swastika as a spiritual symbol throughout Asia. Today, it is shunned in the West due to a lack of understanding of the swastika's true origins and meaning, but mainly because it was hijacked by the Nazis, which gave the swastika a tarnished reputation which it does not deserve. Most people are unaware of the integrated use of the swastika entwined with the U.S. and North America's past, mainly with good luck and well-being in the late 1800s and early 1900s. As you can see, the U.S. accepted this symbol long before the Nazis befouled it. Extensively used in the U.S. as a sign of protection, as stated on this emblem, may this emblem protect you well from every bullet, every shell. Also, on the early French and U.S. Air Force planes. The Finland Air Force and military medals. And even on the Finland presidential flag and the U.S. flag, referred to here as a lucky star. In the U.S., the swastika was also used on a corporate level, on Coca-Cola bottles, American Boy Scouts, and even in minting the early 1900 coins and poker chips. Not only was the swastika used by the U.S. military and corporations, but also by Canadian male and female hockey leagues. Before Americans embraced the swastika, the native people, such as the Navajo, used the swastika as their spiritual symbol, seen here on early rugs, carpets, and quilts. Even Jackie Bouvier Kennedy can be seen here in native dress attire. It was even used in landmarks, highway markers, and on the Laguna Dam in Arizona, built in the early 1900s. Also, there is a swastika town in Ontario, Canada, and one in the U.S., Clinton County, New York. The swastika is a symbol of the scientist who created us, which is why we find it on every continent, usually associated with spiritual and peaceful groups. The swastika has been a symbol of peace and well-being for millions of Buddhists, Hindus, and for Raelians as well, as it is their symbol of infinity, time, and a symbol of eternity. Discrimination is not only found in Europe and all parts of the US, it is also found down under in Australia having a peaceful exhibit informing the public of the true meaning of the swastika, surprisingly, the police showed up, harassing the peaceful exhibit, threatening and arresting the leader of the Australian movement, Jarrell, who was taken to jail with no explanation of charges, just pure discrimination. Did you see what happened? That's all right. Did you see what happened? Yes, they didn't do nothing wrong, only, only to show the peace and love. Banning cannot solve anything. Education is the only way. Children should be taught at school about the beauty of this ancient symbol of peace and harmony, instead of always being referred to as used by the Nazis. This is why Rael, founder and leader of the International Raelian Movement, initiated the idea of a World Swastika Rehabilitation Day, which takes place every year in cities around the world. Buona Svastica Day!